find a nice comfortable place to sit or get yourself all snuggled up in your bed and allow your eyes to gently close and just focus on your breathing. So take a deep breath in and then slowly and gently let the breath out. Again, deep breath in and then slowly and gently let the breath out. One more time, deep breath in and slowly and gently let the breath out. Now just relax, just relax, bring your breathing back to its normal rhythm and just feel your chest rise and fall gently. Now imagine yourself surrounded by a beautiful white light, a light so bright so pure, a light of protection and peace. Breathe in this white light and feel it as it enters your body completely and it makes you feel all warm and safe. Now imagine yourself walking through a magical lush green forest and it's very beautiful here and the sun is shining and it's nice and warm. There are trees all around you and there are flowers growing everywhere and the scent of them is just wonderful. Breathe in, see if you can smell them. You can hear the birds high up in the trees as they chatter to each other and fly from treetop to treetop. And you find you are walking along a path made of coloured flagstones, which you think is a bit odd as you are in the middle of a forest. Up ahead of you, you see a lovely little white gate, just a gate. There is no fence or wall that you can see. It's just the gate. Hmm, you think to yourself, I wonder why that's there. So you decide to open it and go through it. Well, when you come through the other side of the gate, miraculously, the landscape has changed and you are not in the forest anymore. You are in a beautiful green field filled with lots of wildflowers. How did that happen? You wonder to yourself. One minute you were in the forest. The next minute you were in this lovely green field. Well, you don't mind because it's very peaceful here. And as you look to your left, you notice that there is a small grassy hill and you walk over to it to have a look around and maybe see what's there. As you get closer you see what looks like a doorway in the side of the hill. It is a doorway, oh my goodness, it actually is a doorway in the side of the hill. And you wonder if anyone lives there so, you become brave and give a little knock on the door. The door opens and you are quite amazed by who you see. It's an ogre, a very large ogre. And he has on very baggy green trousers and a rather bright orange t-shirt. He also has on a large floppy sun hat. 
Hmm, maybe it's to keep the sun out of his eyes, you think to yourself. But hey, who knows? Maybe he just likes it. He smiles at you and holds out his hand and says good morning to you. And you grin back and shake his hand. It's a good day for visitors, he says. My name is Boris. What's yours? You tell him your name. I'm kind of glad you came today because I'm going to Fairyland to meet my friend who is the fairy princess. Would you like to come with me? He asks. Oh yes, please, you say. So the two of you set off. It's not far, says Boris. It's just over that hill. The two of you walk side by side, chatting as you go. When you hear a noise overhead, but you can't quite decide what it is. It sounds like you can hear someone talking, but you can't see them. Boris notices your puzzled look, and he starts to laugh because he hears it too. Don't worry, he says. It's only Nigel. Who is Nigel, you ask? Nigel is a big green frog, and Nigel is my friend too, but he talks a lot. And I do mean a lot, says Boris. In fact, he never stops talking. Sometimes it gives me a headache, sighs Boris. But I do love him now, even if he never shuts up. He's my best friend, and he has a very, very kind heart. Suddenly, out pops Nigel. He was under a big bush. Hello, Boris, says Nigel. Who have you got with you today? He asks. Boris tells him who you are and that you're going to see the fairy princess with him. Oh, great, says Nigel. Can I come too? Of course you can, Nigel. You know I never go anywhere without you. So off the three of you go. You go up and over the hill. And Nigel starts to talk. And he doesn't stop. He tells you all about himself. Then he tells you about his school. Then he tells you about his family. And then he tells you about the books he likes to read. Phew! It's making your head spin, all this information. It really is. Boris was right. He really doesn't stop talking. The three of you walk down the hill with Nigel still chattering away. And when you look, you see a beautiful crystal bridge over a clear stream down below you. And it looks ever so pretty. And it shines and it sparkles in the sunshine. And you can hear water splashing over the rocks that are dotted along this beautiful stream. Beyond that, you can see tall green trees and there are tiny lights hanging all around them like little sparkles of happiness. And you think to yourself, oh, this is a very special place. I'm going to like it here. You notice that there are a lot of big red toadstools and they too look very pretty. And some of them are really quite big for toadstools. You go over and take a closer look. The big red toadstools have tiny windows and even tinier flower boxes. They are tiny little houses. They are the tiny fairy houses. How wonderful is that? How magical. Just then, Boris stops outside of a very large, bright red toadstool and it looks to you just like a palace it's very pretty and it's rather grand and do you know what it looks really funny to anyone looking at you there's a giant ogre a plump chatterbox of a frog and you all standing outside the palace and it makes you laugh out loud because it feels just like you're in a fairy tale. How wonderful is that? 
Suddenly, the little front door opens and out flies a very tiny fairy princess. And she's only as big as your hand. But she is very beautiful and has the loveliest shimmering wings and they sparkle like stars. Hello, Boris. Hello, Nigel, she says with a great big smile on her pretty face. Oh, I see you've brought a new friend with you today. How lovely. Boris introduces you to the fairy princess. And she asks you if you would like to visit her little village. Well, of course, you say yes, please. So for a few moments, go with your new friends and explore the fairy princess's village. I wonder what you will see there. It could be anything, you know, because this is a very magical place. Maybe you might see a few unicorns or maybe other mythical creatures. Maybe Boris and Nigel the Frog will introduce you to their other friends. Well, that's if Nigel lets you get a word in because of all his talking. He still hasn't stopped talking since you met him. So why don't you take this opportunity to explore the majesty of this beautiful fairyland? When you return to the princess's palace, she asks you if you would like a sleepover. <laughs> well, of course you would. Who wouldn't? So she takes you 
Boris and Nigel the frog up to her very special bedroom. And in her bedroom there are three big beds and one giant one. And that one is for Boris. She points at the giant bed and laughs. Her room is very pretty and very pink. Everything glitters and sparkles, just the way she likes it. There are tiny jars dotted all over the room filled with fireflies and they give off the most amazing light, making everything look so warm, so inviting. The four of you climb onto your own bed and you notice that you're feeling quite sleepy now. Well, you have had a rather busy day and you have met some really lovely new friends. So as you all get comfortable on your beds, the fairy princess sings you a little lullaby to help you all sleep. Oh, and she has a very lovely voice, but she doesn't sing with words, just beautiful sounds, peaceful and loving sounds. It's so lovely and peaceful right here, right now where you are, and your eyes have already closed. The sound of the fairy princess's voice is just beautiful. And just before you drift off to sleep, you thank her for what she has shown you today and how she has made you understand that no matter what we do in this life, we should always be kind. We should always be kind to each other and to all living creatures, just like she is and just like she does every day because she's so special and so beautiful, just like you. So for now, take a big breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth and just let your body relax, go still and calm. One more time, big breath in, and gently breathe out through your mouth. You're feeling so peaceful, so calm. So just rest now. Good night, sweet dreams. You now find yourself standing in the most beautiful enchanted garden that you've ever seen. And the sun is shining brightly and it's a very clear day. And you feel very calm, very relaxed and very, very peaceful. You can hear the birds singing to each other and you can feel a lovely gentle breeze on your face and it's ruffling your hair. And as you walk on the path of this very special garden, you see that there are flowers growing everywhere. And there are so many of them in so many different colors. And some of the flowers are very tall. Some of them are very tiny. But you look ahead of you and you see that the path you are on 
has two other paths branching off it, and you wonder where they go. Well, it's up to you now to decide which path to take. Will you carry on straight ahead? Or will you go off to the right? Maybe you want to take the path to the left. You decide. The path you have chosen is the right path for you. And you just walk along it and as you do, you hear a beautiful melodic sound in the distance. It's faint, but you can still hear it. It sounds so enchanting, so magical, but it makes you feel very happy when you hear it. So you follow the sound. You reach a giant red toadstool. It's huge. It even has a wraparound porch all the way around it, completely and utterly. It has big windows, all painted white with really colorful curtains. It has a big white door in the shape of an archway. It's a very fancy plush toadstool. And you see that the door is open and you wonder who lives there. But the beautiful sound is calling to you. So you walk around on the wraparound porch to the back of this huge toadstool. And that's when you see him sitting there playing his drum. What you see is a gnome, a beautiful gnome. And he's just sitting there playing his drum. He's so engrossed in his music that he hasn't noticed you yet. But you notice that he has an earring in his left ear and a red bandana around his head. He has lots of colorful beads around his neck, hanging down the front of his very bright and colorful shirt. He even has flip-flops on his feet and you can see his hairy toes. He kind of looks like a hippie gnome. Next to him, you see two rather beautiful lavender candles burning brightly. It's like the flames are dancing to the sound of the drum. You see lots of really big crystals dotted all around him and all over the porch. They're everywhere. He even has a large sparkling quartz crystal hanging on a silver thread swaying above his head. And the sunlight bouncing off it is making rainbows everywhere. This really is an enchanted place. You can see very large sunflowers all over the porch too. And they too are dancing along to the music, swaying gently to the rhythm. It even looks as if they're smiling. You decide to sit down and watch him play and just listen. You can feel the vibrations. It's like little tingles of happiness all over your body. The music is so beautiful. As you watch, it's like your own personal concert and it makes you feel very special. So for a few moments, just listen to the beautiful sounds of the magical drum. Feel the happiness run through your whole body. You can even have a dance like the sunflowers if you feel like it.
When the sounds of the drum slowly stops, you open your eyes and you realize that the gnome is looking at you with a beautiful smile on his face. And you see now that he has sparkling blue friendly eyes. The gnome says he's not used to having an audience, but he's really thrilled about it. And he says thank you for listening to him play. He is delighted that you enjoy his music. He asks you if you would like to join him on his little stage, which is really the porch with steps leading up to it. And you say you would love to. The gnome explains that this is not just any drum. It's a magic drum. It can play melodies and it can make you really feel the music too, as if you're part of it. Not only that, if you really feel what you are playing and you play the notes in a certain order, it can transport you to different lands. It's like dialing a phone number, but it's musical notes that you're playing instead. But you really have to feel the music, breathe the music, become the music. The gnome asks you if you'd like to try it yourself. Well, of course you would. But you tell him that you've never played a magical drum before and you're not sure if you can. But the gnome tells you to just feel the music. The magic drum is not about technique. It's about what you feel inside. It's about opening your heart. The gnome gives you the magical drumsticks. You take a big deep breath and close your eyes. And you begin to play even though your eyes are closed. You just feel where the sticks should go. You strike the magical drum with the drumsticks and you feel the music with all of your heart and you become lost in this music. A place where time doesn't exist, just you and the music. You feel yourself entering what appears to be a tunnel of light and sound and you can see colours you've never seen before, hear sounds you've never heard before. What an amazing place. Feel the joy, feel the love. Spend a few moments here, really, really feeling the joy of the music. Let it fill your heart with feelings of pure joy and pure love.
the gnome gently places his hand on your shoulder and brings you back to the present moment. And your awareness is now back on the wraparound porch. And you realize you had never left the porch all this time you were still there. The gnome asks you, what did you see? What did you hear? Where did you go? You tell him about the tunnel of light and sound and that you feel amazing and would really love to do it again. The gnome is amazed that you found the tunnel of light and sound on your very first attempt too. It's never happened before. The gnome tells you you must be very special indeed. You feel a bit sleepy now. So the gnome tells you that you can have a little rest on his hammock that's swinging gently on the porch if you want to. So you climb up on it and begin to sway from side to side on the very comfy hammock. It even has a very soft pillow to lay your head on. The gnome tells you that this magic drum has the power to help you sleep. And the gnome begins to play the most amazing and wonderful sound you have ever heard. You take a long, deep breath in and give out the happiest sigh as you gently begin to fall asleep. Quietly, you hear the beautiful gnome say that you can come back and visit him any time you want. And you drift into a gentle sleep, a peaceful sleep. And when you wake up in the morning, you will be in your very own bed and you will feel wonderful. Now imagine yourself on a beautiful winding path deep in the heart of a wonderful enchanted forest. And it's late in the day now. The ground beneath your feet is solid but soft and you can hear the leaves crunching beneath them. Can you hear it? Can you feel it under your feet? You feel a gentle breeze on your face as you walk along the path and you feel the warmth of the setting sun all over your body and you feel so at peace here. You look up to the very tops of the trees and you see glints of the sunlight shimmering upon the leaves as it starts to set and get ready for the night. You continue to walk peacefully on your path, looking at all the different trees around you. So you stop and you look at them. Have a good look at the trees, really look at them. What can you see? What you do see up ahead of you is a little clearing and set in this clearing is a tent, a very colourful tent that has lots of bunting hanging all over it, making it look very inviting indeed. So you go closer, take a look at it. What do you see? 
you unzip the door of the tent and go inside. And you are amazed at what you see inside. It is much, much bigger on the inside. It has rooms in it. You walk around looking at all of the different things that are here. It's actually like a big posh hotel. You've seen tents before, but not quite like this one. This one has all the things that you like in it. All of the things that you would choose to have if it was yours. The living room of the tent has a big squishy sofa with lots and lots of soft fluffy cushions. You go into another room. This one is a kitchen with a proper table and chairs where you can eat your dinner if you want to. You carry on looking and find that there is a bathroom, a bedroom and even a spare bedroom for your friends or your family to stay. How cool is that? So take a few minutes and have a good look around and just see what else you can find. Now, after looking around your magical and very posh tent, you decide to go outside. And you find that this little tent has grown its own garden with lots of flowers. There is a lovely little table and chairs for you to sit at too. There is even a large jug of lemonade on the table with two glasses. You wonder why there are two glasses when the only person who is here is you. So you sit down and take a sip of your lemonade and it tastes delicious. As you sit there, you look up and you see someone walking towards you and they have a very big, beautiful smile on their face and they look so happy to see you. Who is it? Who has come to visit with you today? They take a seat beside you and you offer them a glass of lemonade. They say thank you as they are very thirsty and have come a long way to see you. So sit for a few moments and chat with your visitor. You can even show them around your magical, very posh tent.
Now it's time for your visitor to leave. Did you show them around your tent? Did you show them all of the lovely things inside it? And most important, did you have a wonderful catch up? They give you a great big snuggly hug and say goodbye for now. And you watch them until they disappear back into the trees. And you give a great big sigh because you feel so happy now. Even though you are feeling very tired and oh so sleepy, you don't really want this day to end. But it really does have to now. So you go back inside the tent and into the amazing bedroom that you will be sleeping in tonight. You climb into the very inviting bed that looks so comfortable with its big fluffy pillows and wonderfully thick quilt. You sink deeper and deeper into your lovely warm bed and you have a window in this room and you can see the stars shining brightly in the now night sky. As you lay there watching the beautiful night sky, you see yet more shooting stars. It's like they are out dancing in the sky just for you. And you wonder to yourself, where are they going? Well, they are going far out into space, maybe even to other planets. You find yourself starting to drift into dreaming. So listen to my voice as I start to count from 10 to 1. 10, 10. Your eyes are closed and your body is feeling very heavy now. 9. You feel yourself sinking deeply into your bed and it feels wonderful as if you are lying on a soft fleecy cloud. Eight. You are feeling so very sleepy, so warm and so comfy, so tired now. Seven. Seven. You feel relaxed and very calm. Six. Six. You begin to drift deeper and deeper into a very happy, very peaceful sleep. Five. You can hear the sounds of the night creatures scurrying about their business. Four. Four. Your body is resting now. So peaceful. So calm. So very, very relaxed. Three. You are going deeper and deeper into sleep. You cannot open your eyes now, even if you wanted to. 
You are so, so sleepy. Two. 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 Your body is already asleep. One. One. Your mind has now followed your body into sleep. So rest now. A good, peaceful night's rest. And when you wake in the morning, you will feel so refreshed, so renewed, so alert, so very, very happy. Now imagine yourself on a beautiful winding path, deep in the heart of a wonderful tropical forest. The ground beneath your feet is solid, but soft also and a little bit scrunchy. Can you feel it under your feet? You feel a gentle breeze on your face as you walk along the path and you feel the warmth of the sun all over your body. And you feel so at peace here. You look up to the very tops of the trees and you see glints of the evening sunlight shimmering upon the leaves, almost making them look like bright, shiny silver stars. And you can hear the rustling of the leaves as a gentle breeze pushes them into movement. And you feel like you are becoming part of the forest. And you feel that you are the forest and you can relate to everything living in it, every living being. You continue to walk peacefully on your path, looking at all of the different trees around you. So you stop and have a good look. These trees all around you are very wise and you can feel their wise energy surrounding you completely as you step deeper and deeper beneath this wonderful canopy of leaves. The birds are chirping in the distance, telling you that your forest is safe. And the little animals are scurrying in the undergrowth. And it makes you feel so happy, so happy just to be here. There are a few trees in this amazing tropical forest that you recognize but there are also many trees that you have never seen before and they are beautiful. You take a closer look at the nearest tree and you notice many things about it. It has branches that reach out in every direction. It's magnificent. Because the first thing you also notice is how big the tree is. It's huge. You notice what the bark looks like. You put your hand out. What does the bark feel like touching? Does it feel powerful and strong like you? And you can smell the aromas of this forest. You can smell the wood. Really smell the wood. What does it smell like to you? Does it remind you of anything or anyone? As you take a closer look at the tree, you notice that some of the bark on the tree looks like a face. A big, kind and generous face. How lovely. As you look, you can see the shape of the eyes, a nose, a mouth. Then suddenly you hear a voice and you realise that it's coming from the tree. You're a bit startled, but it's okay. It's coming from the face on the tree. Oh my goodness me. You are astounded. A talking tree. Well, you've seen many things before, but never a talking tree. And he speaks so gently and elegantly. The big tree gives you a great big grin and says hello to you. And you smile and say hello back. The glorious tree tells you that he is so pleased to meet you and to talk to you 
as he doesn't get the chance to talk to people very often. He tells you that he is very, very old and has been here for a very long time. And you think he's a very wise old tree and you like him very much. He tells you that his name is Sedgwick. And you think that is a very cool name. Sedgwick tells you that high up in his branches there is a tree house, a very special tree house. Sedgwick calls it the tree house of sleep and relaxation. He created it. He says that this is the most relaxing place in the whole universe. Sedgwick says that if you like, you can spend some time in his tree house and rest for a while if you want. Well, of course, your answer is going definitely to be yes, please. You look up to see the greatest tree house you have ever seen. And as you do, a rope ladder drops down from one of its branches. How cool is that? You begin to climb up the ladder. It's a long way up, but that's okay, because you like climbing trees. And as you reach the platform, you see how big the treehouse really is. It's huge. It has its very own veranda, surrounding it, completely surrounding it. And on the veranda, you see a hammock, gently swaying in the warm breeze. You see great big plant pots filled with massive amounts of lavender, and it smells simply delicious. You see lit candles everywhere. Big ones, small ones, round, fat, chubby ones, and all in many different colours. And you also realise that up here in the treehouse, you can hear all of the sounds of the forest. The song of the birds as they call to each other. The sounds of small animals below going about their business. You can even hear the crickets singing their songs too. What else can you hear up here? Stop for a minute and just listen to the sounds of this amazing tropical forest. Take in all the sounds you can hear. What are they saying to you? Are they talking to you? So just for a few moments, let go of anything that may be on your mind and just enjoy the moment and be at peace with yourself just for a moment. Wasn't that wonderful? Just you and nature being as one. Now you decide to take a look inside the treehouse. And as you step through the door, you feel warm and safe. There is a fire burning in the grate. And again, there are candles everywhere. There is even a huge beanbag that you can sleep on if you want to. Or maybe you would rather sleep in the hammock 
on the beautiful veranda. You realise that the tree house has been built around the tree, but also has part of the tree inside it. You can see thick branches going across the ceiling with beautiful lush green leaves on them. There are leaves and smaller branches everywhere. Some of the branches even have lights hanging from them and it looks ever so pretty and so inviting. And the temperature is just perfect for you, exactly how you like it. You see near the beanbag that there is a fresh set of PJs laid out especially for you. They even have your favourite character on them. There is also lovely soft blankets if you need them. Probably won't, but you just might. The big talking tree really has thought of everything you would ever need to have a great sleep here, or to just relax if you want to. You see a little table nearby, and on it is a big mug of hot chocolate just for you. You pick it up and you take a sip, and it tastes delicious. It even has a minty flavour to it as well. Ooh, it really is scrummy. After you finish drinking your lovely mug of hot chocolate, you begin to feel a little sleepy. So you think to yourself that maybe it's time to have a little nap. And the only decision you have to make is where you would like to sleep. Will it be the beanbag inside the treehouse? The sparkly lights? Or will it be the gently swinging hammock on the veranda, surrounded by beautiful lavender? Lots of lovely candles. You decide. It's up to you. So you put on your new PJs and pick up the blanket and climb onto your chosen place to sleep. You settle yourself down and give a big sigh of contentment. And you just listen to the sounds of this amazing tropical forest as you drift gently into the best night's sleep you have ever had. So night night, sleep tight. <laughs>